Hey everybody, I'm Jordan of PDQ.com. Uh, we've decided to start a new web series about teaching you the basics of PowerShell. Uh, give you a foundation to really build on, hopefully get you started on, on doing bigger and better things. Uh, so the, the first video, I couldn't think of a better uh, commandlet to learn than git command. Uh, git, git command is going to give you a list of, of everything that in your PowerShell for every module that you have installed, every command that's ready to go. It's just if, you, if the command is there for you, this will help you find it and help you uh, use it to its best ability. Uh, so to get started, uh, as we all know, system administrators hate fun, and they keep on taking my Zune away, and that's just unacceptable. So I wrote the beginning, the first two lines of how I can reinstall Zune, despite what those uh, sysadmins keep on telling me. But I can't remember what command will actually let me install it once I get to this point. <clears throat> so what we can do is we can just use git command. We know Zune's an app, so we're just going to try searching for app uh, in the command, see what we get. Just get that command and then just asterisk app asterisk. And that just is gonna give us every single command that has app in it. I'm scrolling to the top because full disclosure, I, I, I know what I'm looking for. I, I actually know the command. Uh, but we see here we got add app package and it is part of, <clears throat> of the module of AppX. And since it says over here that it's an alias, it's not the full command. So let's, let's, uh, let's fine tune that a bit and see See what else we can find if using the module. We'll, we'll look in just AppX only. So just get command module AppX that we saw there. And this gives us every single command that has to do with the module of AppX. And right there we got the alias add app package and then a little bit further down in the actual commandlet. Oh, I'm sure we've got it. Here we go. We have add app package. That's the command. So now we know we know the command. We can go ahead and add our, our third line. Add epic package. We want to disable development mode. This just basically says Microsoft doesn't need our data. And then we want to register it to what we built here. Register path. That's a little bit more complex. We just didn't know that's the command we want. We went through and found it. We have everything in there. We can run that. We can install Zoom. Uh, but I can hear you through the monitor. You're saying, well, doing that search, having the whole list and scrolling through, that's not real, that's not real handy. Well, I have something for you that's gonna actually help you a lot. We're gonna go back to git command. No asterisk or anything. We're gonna pipe that into out grid view. What this is gonna do is it pops out in a new window. Every single command is right here in this window. You can come through, you can filter, you can put in app, you can add criteria where we can go to the source is AppX. And right there, and you can live filter without having to do all the scroll. You have everything you need right there to get started. Uh, I, I'm Jordan. I've, hopefully you'll tune in to see us. You'll learn everything we need to know. We'll get uh, great at PowerShell again.